Biker Billy cooks with fire. I got my chili peppers. Do you have yours? All right, welcome to the show. Yes, you're here. I'm here. Together, we're going to do something magic tonight. Yes, we're going to cook with fire. We're going to cook an outrageous, soul-satisfying, stick-to-your-ribs soup. Yes, it's called Not Gentle Lentil. It's exciting, it's tough, and it's wild. And I'm going to show you how to make a special chili peppers stock. So, sit back, relax, hug your chilies, and when we come back, we'll cook with fire. All right! All right! Don't get caught playing with your chilies now. Now, let's talk about soup. We're going to make a soup. And if you ever read recipes, they talk about using a mysterious thing called stock. Yes, some books, they dedicate page after page after page about stock. But there's never been a stock like the stock we're going to make tonight. No sorry, Bob. Get my little symbol out of the way. We're going to make hot chili stock. Now, you can divide this proportionately in threes we're using 24 cups of boiling water so if you only want to make a third you can make eight this amount will allow you to make two doses of soup and it's so good you'll want to eat it twice now what goes in here is some chili peppers some onions some you know it some garlic and some carrots so let's start off with our chili peppers i'm going to introduce you to a new chili pepper friend the pasilla, yes, sometimes called the little raisin or chili negro. It is wonderful, dark, dried chili. Take a look at these buttes on the cutting board. Sometimes they're confused for the anjo, which is the dried poblano. But look at the anjos. You'll see there is a big difference between these and these. Now, before we even cut up our chilies and deal with them, let me show you. A terror of chili land. Yes, when you buy dried chili, sometimes they're not perfect. Now, I want you to take a look on the cutting board. I've got two pasillas here, and I want to show you. You see that it's kind of white around here. Take a look at this one, and you can see it's kind of got a, a light greenish kind of gray color to it. Now, let's take another one. Whoa, baby, lost my chili. Now, let me show you by contrast, look at the inside of this one, how nice and black, see how black that is, and see the green, this is a moldy chili. Now friends, let me tell you something, you can't eat them, you know what you do with your moldy chilies? You chuck them! That's right, you chuck them away. Now, I'm going to take three of each type of chili I'm going to use, they're all dried, I'm using four different types of chili. So I got to go get me another pasilla because I dropped one on the floor. And we don't want no food on the floor. So I'll run to my saddle. Nah, I won't go to the saddlebags now. We're going to put three pasillas in there, seeds and all. We're going to take three beautiful dried anjos. All you want to do is just cut the stems off. Ah, the anjo pepper. Wonderful, delicious. Now, that's one. This is so cool. This hot pepper stock. I'm going to use it to make the lentil soup. You can use this to make any of your favorite soups. And I'm actually going to show you how you get more than one type of stock out of one stock pot. Now, let me get rid of these stems. And take a look here on the, on the board. And this is a dried New Mexico pepper. Now, that's the same kind up here. And I'm just going to go up here and break me off two more. It's wonderful. You think these things are just decorations? Well, let me tell you. It ain't no baby's rattle. And it ain't no mere decoration. It's a delicious, delicious 
soul food. So we're gonna put three of them in there, seeds and all. Now let me get rid of, you don't need all the seeds, but you'll see, you can use them or leave them. We'll get rid of these seeds. And now all those peppers are kind of mild, but you add up a lot of mild peppers and it sort of gets a little wild and a little hot. Now, three long, slim red cayenne peppers. These are from my very own garden and I dried them in my oven so they got a little smoky flavor and in they go. Now, that's four varieties of peppers. The first thing we're gonna do is get our peppers in there, 24 cups of boiling water, and we're gonna take six medium onions. And really, all you wanna do with the onions, you don't wanna cut them up, you just wanna peel them. Slop them in there. You're gonna take six onions. Now, I make this at home, I like to sit in front of, this is a great fall, winter, spring, and any time you come back from a ride and it's a little bit cool out, you like to have something soul filling and wonderful. So, what I like to do is I use fresh garlic when I'm at home and I can sit in front of the fireplace, put my dogs up on a stool and roast them over the heat. No, not hot dogs, my feet. Now. That's only three of the onions, I'll put the six. And what am I rambling about? Garlic. I'm gonna put, look at this, not a clove, but a whole bulb or head or whatever you wanna call it, garlic. That's gonna be about 24 cloves. Now, a half a clove, a half a teaspoon of chopped garlic is equal to a clove. So to get 24, I'm gonna put one, two, Three heaping teaspoons of chopped garlic because that's quick and easy and you don't have to go through all that trouble. So, I'm also going to put in some onions. Now, this is 24 cups of water. It's been at a boil. When you put the veggies in, it's going to lose its temperature some. So, what are we going to have to do, John? Bring it back to a boil? Yep. All right. Now, John's my quiet cameraman. That's why I talk to him all the time because... John really don't want to say very much, do you, John? Nope. See what I tell you. No matter what I say, I say, hey, John, what color is your motorcycle? Uh, garlic. Uh, see how he's so confused by the spices? Actually, his bike does smell a little bit like garlic. Now, in goes. Now, check these carrots out. I peeled them. I trimmed them. And in goes three torpedoes, three carrots. Now, I got four of my onions in. I'm going to peel my other onions and put my onions in. No salt. You don't have to have salt. You add salt later on. Bring it to a boil again. Cover it. Let it simmer on a low heat so it's still simmering. Mm, you want to pick it up and hug it. It smells so good. Let it simmer for two hours. So, you sit back and it ain't going to be two hours. But when we come back, what are we going to do? Freeze! We're going to cook with fire. That's right. We're going to cook! With fire! Oh!